Now, I'm going to show you another method of purification which is called filtration. A bowl some water any impurity that is soluble. So, in the previous experiment we used an insoluble impurity. In this case, I am using a soluble impurity. You will need another glass to transfer the clean water. And you will need filter paper. So, shall we begin? I will first pour water into the bowl. And I am mixing the impurity inside. Notice that the impurity is soluble in water. It is dissolving in water. For the next step, I am taking the filter paper which is in a circular shape and I am folding it to make it a cone. So, we normally use conical shaped filters. So, did you see how I did that? I will show you once again. So, take a circular piece of filter paper, fold it in half and then in four and you have a cone on top, a conical shape. So, now I am placing this over the mouth of the cup. So, I have placed the filter paper over the mouth of the glass and I am pouring the water with impurities inside. So, as I told you, this method of purification can be used for water that has soluble impurities. So, when we pour it in the bowl first, we notice that there were particles floating inside. The entire content was not, was not soluble. So now, when I open this paper, can you see the particles of impurity settled on it? This is what we call filtration. So in a filter paper, we have pores. Pores or small holes. Now, when these pores are smaller than the size of the impurity, they don't allow the impurity to pass. They only allow the water to pass through. And that is the reason why the impurity stays on top while the water alone gets settled at the bottom in the glass. So, this is the method of filtration for purification of water.